I want to congratulate adults for being adults because I don't think we get congratulated enough. Now, so you used to do it when you were a kid, you used to clean up your bedroom, you get, uh, you get congratulated, you might even get a reward of some kind. That doesn't actually happen any more than that. You just get to not live in a dirty bedroom. That's the only yeah. thanks you get. So what we're choosing this morning, the adult award. Got you McDonald's. Oh, thanks, mate. Canberra McDonald's. Owned and operated by locals supporting Canberra. You're welcome. Anyway, while you were gone, I had a bit of a thought. I am really bored here, mate. I really thought a detective agency would be a lot more fun than this. It's been six months and we haven't had one case. Yeah, but the breakfast show we did this morning was the best one yet. The radio show we did this morning was crap. And you need to stop caring about the radio, mate, because the action is here at our detective agency. It's the whole reason we started this thing. I really thought there would be more... Solving mysteries? Yes. Fighting bad guys. Saving the city. Be heroes. Yeah, being heroes. <sighs> I guess we can dream. Ned and Josh, detective agency. Ned, Josh, it's the Prime Minister here and I need to speak with you both. Yeah, hello. I recognise how busy you are, but this is a matter of national importance. The country needs your help, the city of Canberra needs your help, and I need your help. There is someone that is threatening to poison the drinking water here in Canberra. But why? That's exactly what I need you both to find out. We've received a ransom note of $1 billion payable by midday tomorrow. If not, the Cotter Dam could be at serious risk. $1 billion? Fuck! Oh. Don't use our one F word. We get one F word for this whole movie? Yes, we get one F word. And I don't think you should say it down the line to the Prime Minister. All right, well, don't say it though, because I want to. Don't steal it from me. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, focus here. This is a matter of urgency and importance. I've put Sarah Lancaster on the case. It is her portfolio, and she is the Minister of Water. You need to liaise with her and act swiftly. Time is of the essence. Yes, Your Excellency. We won't let you down. We got one. Ah, Gun Garland's pub cornerstone. Happy hour, Wednesday to Friday from 5, Hinder Street, Gun Garland. Yeah, I know where we are. Ned, Josh, Sarah Lancaster, Minister of Water. Ned, private detective. Josh, investigator, detect, just, I'm This detective. is Meg, my assistant. <clears throat> Thanks for meeting with me. The Prime Minister obviously expects you to handle this with greatest priority. Canberra's water system is considered to be the best in the world, but someone is systematically poisoning it. Ginandera, Queanbeyan River, Lake Burley Griffin, all no longer safe. And now our main source of water is also under threat. The Cotter Dam. That's right. Midday tomorrow, boom. Boom! Thank you. Where should we start? Well, 
The poison seems to derive from a substance known as isobetatine. It's highly flammable. This is so exciting. Ned and Josh finally on a proper case, putting clues together, getting all the puzzle pieces. I'm so excited. We've got to find out who's poisoning the water, which water's been poisoned, what the hell is isobetatine? It's aviation fuel. How did you find that out that quickly? I just Googled it. Google for the win. <clears throat> this is CCTV images of Lake Burley Griffin last night. Two suspicious characters up to no good. That's where we should start. Better test the water, come on. What does it say? Don't know, I never really worked out how to read these, but. Okay, well, do you want to start doing some detecting and see if we can find some clues? Good idea. You go over there, I'll stay around this area here. All right. Oh look, there you go, here you go. Use your thing on it. Yeah. Ah, it burnt! Oh, Not yet, mate. There's a better time. Darn, it burnt. That's better. I guess we found our poison. Well, at least now we've got a clue. Yeah. A couple of clues. Hey, what do you reckon this is? CVRVA277. Didn't you say the poison was derived from aviation fuel? Because that's that's a luggage tag. Yeah, you're right. But how do you get something like this through check-in? Beats me. Let's head to the airport. Oh. Did you see those two? They look zombified or something. Yeah, and they were definitely the same guys I saw at the lake. Something is absolutely weird about all of this. Yeah, 100%. Get out of the car and get on the ground! Get out, now! Show us your hands! Get out of the car and get on the ground! Yep. yep. Yeah. All right, all right! Show us your hands! We're Ned and Josh, we're here helping the PM. Ned and Josh, you are under arrest for the suspicion of poisoning Canberra's waterways and the attempted assassination of the Prime Minister. We didn't do that. Ma'am, the evidence is here just like the tip suggested. Oh, I can explain that. We, as I said, we're here helping the PM. The PM is in hospital. I would like to caution you that anything that you say may be used in evidence. I think we've been set up. Fuck! No, oh, they cut to black before I could swear. Good evening, making news tonight. Hit 104.7's breakfast duo and amateur detectives Ned and Josh have been arrested for attempting to off the PM by poisoning Canberra's water supply. The disgraced duo's reputation has been permanently contaminated by this toxic plot. As a result, their careers are now over. I'm Karavai Piggott for Prime 7 News. You have a visitor. I'm oh, good. The Prime Minister will sort all of this out. You both wait and see. Yeah, and I want an apology from both of you as well. Especially you.
Sarah Lancaster, acting prime minister. Wait a minute, that's a pretty big promotion in just one night, acting prime minister from Minister of Water. I just wanted to come in and say thank you. Oh my God, you set us up. Mm-hmm. You know what? If I was ever going to drop the F-bomb, this would be the moment right now, surely. Well, yeah, probably if you hadn't have just asked the question. These are little samples of my special Canberra water, but don't tell anyone. My boys are already on their way to get the job done. What, you injected them with poison? That's right. In less than an hour, a bomb will go off against the damn wall, spreading the poison. When Canberra samples my new and improved water, they will all become mindless drones, completely susceptible to my persuasion. My party will never lose an election again! <laughs> what? Where did they go? Well, you left the door unlocked. And you're kind of just monologuing on and on and on and on, so... Bye. Stop it! Do something! Water. I love Canberra water. I don't love Canberra water. Canberra water. Best water in the world. Wait, so you're telling me that Canberrans drink this water and then they become all zombified? Like those guys we saw at the airport. Canberra water. Finger little good. You're right, mate. <laughs> ah! <Yeah. sighs> Yeah, well, you're welcome. Look out. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, let's get the big guy. Can we swap? Yeah, all right. Anytime fitness, your best place for fitness 24-7. Oh, no. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, keep going, yeah. Thank you so much. You ended my business. Yoink! Hey, that's my car. Yeah, I know, but I needed to save all of Canberra. Well, I guess it is all of Canberra. Can I Please. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Night and day locksmith. Steve and Jan have the key to end your misery. What? Dude, we've got to go. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. You know what? I've actually been thinking about this a little bit. Why would she tell us her entire evil plan? This makes no sense. This feels like we're being set up again. Can't be the Cotter Dam. This is a wild moose chase. Come on, man. We've got to do this. Push it, push it. Come on, man. Go, 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 go. Yeah, right, catch okay, let me drive. I feel like I'm in Gerald Slave and Holden's $500 test drive. What? Just, just keep driving. God, you think they're all right?
Yeah, I'd say that's a no. All right, dude, we've got to keep going to the Cotter Dam. Well, no, wait, wait. I've worked it out. She's at Scrivener Dam, not Cotter Dam. Trust right, me. let's go. How did you know to come to the Scrivener Dam? Deus Ex Machina, my dear Ned. Deus Ex Machina. Isn't that like a video game? Probably. Look! Is that a bomb? Go! Oh my god, do you know how to defuse a bomb? No, just pull it up and we'll figure it out. We're gonna die! Alright, so we got it off the dam. Do you know what to do now? Um, try the red wire. Okay. Didn't do anything. No. Try all the wires, okay. just pull them all out. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Nothing. Got nothing. What are we gonna do? Wait, what are we gonna do? Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna die. Hello? Sarah Lancaster, evil villain. Oh, fuck. Ha, huh, it seems I've underestimated you two, and yet you're here to foil my plan. When I told the Prime Minister to hide. I'm not you... gonna let you monologue us to death. Hang up. What? What do we do? What do we do? Honestly, Josh, I think that this is it. Don't no, no, no let don't me talk finish. like that. We need to focus. We've been through so much, but I'm glad that I went through it with you. I... You're my best friend. I know. Let me finish, Josh. I know what you're gonna say. I love you. I love you too, man, but can we please focus on this? I... Well, I don't know how to fix it. What right? are we going to do? I don't know how to fix it. Send it off, please! Oh, there is a switch. Yeah, well, someone had to. You're our hero. Oh, hang on. It's Prime Minister. Hello? Ned. Josh. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm glad you're both okay. I assume the AFP team made it in time. Yeah, it was a close call, but how did you know? Brilliant, and thank goodness, actually. It was Meg, that darling. She knew exactly what was going on as soon as Miss Lancaster handed me that bottle of water in Parliament. I'm confident that she did the right thing because I knew we needed to send back up, as you boys would no doubt have been in the thick of things. Canberra's water will now be as beautiful and clean as it's always been. And that's thanks to you both. And Meg, of course. I'm confident she'll make a wonderful addition to your team. Now, do you want another case? Sure, what have you got? Okay, on Saturday, we were handed this 